I have got some exciting things to show you today with my the things I've learned with Flex so far. I just recently downloaded Adobe's Flex Builder 3, which is very nice. I might uh, add as a little side note. But I was able to finish the calculator and load it up to my website. And I learned a couple of different things while I did this. Uh, two things I want to show you real quick. First is creating uh, archived backups of the project that you're working on so you can revert back to anything if anything happens and the second is exporting your program to put on the web page uh, Adobe Flex 3 has made this really easy so let's go ahead and get started first let's talk about making the backups <clears throat> go ahead and go to file and it's in the export section and you'll wanna select Flex Project Archive um, you can also do it through the other we'll show it this way first we select the project, uh, mine's called Simple Calculator, and then we want to choose where we want to store it. I'll go ahead and store it on the desktop, because that's an easy place to put it. And uh, we'll go ahead and click Finish. And you're done. There it is. There's the archived file. You can unzip it and take a look at it. It opens the folder. And there are the same files that are in the project. Um, Go ahead and delete this. We'll do it again showing it the other way. Uh, file, export, flex, uh, other. We'll go to archive file. This gives you some more options, a little different uh, GUI interface. Select the spot and save as. And click finished, and you're good. Uh oh. There was problems. Conflicts with location. Let's try this one more time. Destination directory conflicts with location of simple calculator. Guess it doesn't like that. Anyways, it worked already, so we'll go ahead and go to the exporting to put on the web page you want to go to release build it's also in the other section release build you select the calculator or the application that you want to export and the application that's in that and where you want to export it to we'll go ahead and export it to the desktop again because that's an easy spot to put it and we'll click finish builds it, rewrites some of the code, and there we go. So here are all the files. We'll get rid of the backup. So these are all the files we need to put on the web page. Not use Dreamweaver, so we'll go ahead and open that up. And let's see if this works. My connection down here is not very good. So we'll try this real quick. Alright, so I've created a new folder called Flex, and uh, we'll open the index page that people are taken to. We'll create a link, and then we need to put these files, go ahead and copy these, we need to put these files in the folder that I'm going to upload to the server so we're gonna find where I keep my files put it in the flex folder paste it on um, back to Dreamweaver and there we go you can see that the files have been uploaded 
and then with our index or wherever you create the link you want to highlight it and you just want to point it towards the application HTML then once that's done just upload the file with all the application folders and the page with the updated link give that a minute to upload My connection's pretty slow. Hopefully it's not this slow when you upload your own files. Uh-oh. It's never fun when the internet doesn't work. All right, so it appears that uh, the files have been uploaded. Hopefully that's the case. We'll go ahead and see if we can get to the pages. Yep, and let's hopefully it works. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Five plus three equals eight. Very nice. Uh, this is one of my favorite features, even though this has nothing to do with the video. Look at that. You can undo your typing. Very nice. Anyways, so there you have it. Um, how to make backups with your Adobe Flex 3 applications. And how to export them to put on your web server. It makes it very easy. One more thing I want to show you real quick. Oh man, wrong flex. I still have flex 2 on here. Um, when you export backups for your flex applications, uh, if you ever need to restore from those, uh, it's pretty simple. It's basically the reverse of what you did to export them. Let's close flex 2. Uh, you'll go to file import and other and archive file you f find the archive file tell it where you want it to put it and basically you have your project back from wherever you backed it up so there you have it thanks